So we will see the, the preparation of the chair. Mm -hmm. That is for uh, uh, Captain Jingha yeah. And also we can see a sleeping bag to keep, keep him warm. warm. And also padded as well, right? <laughs> oh, Mr. Jingha is already cushion. out of the capsule. Uh, you can see him waving. <laughs> Why now two more to go? Well, that's Captain uh, okay. Commander Jing Hai Peng. We see they're back home on Earth, but they are quite far from their first step back on Earth, right? <laughs> there'll be yeah. there'll be a while yet. But they will quickly adopt and, and uh, stand up. He's smiling, he's happy. Yeah. We expect to hear from him as well. You see the press, the reporters I coming see. out. Uh, uh, Mr. Jing, welcome I'm back. I'm with CMG. So, as the most experienced Taikonaut of China, in your pursuit of dreams, you've been making breakthroughs after breakthroughs. So, what do you want to say to the people of China right now? At this moment, I am very excited, and finally we've returned home to the embrace of our motherland. After five months of missions and all tasks are completely finished, and uh, I think this trip to the China Space Station is a wonderful experience for me. And uh, I want to also say on behalf of my, my partners, my two partners, for their wonderful experience and performance. They have done such a great job, and we led a, a happy life and efficient work experience in space, and no mistakes were made. And uh, this is a zero mistake and perfect mission, and I think we have made all of the explorations of the professionals into reality, and we have lived up to the expectations of the country, the party, and the people. And this is the result of joint efforts and teamwork. I think we, should, we can realize our dream and also exceed our dreams and uh, create new dreams. And uh, this would not be possible without the instructions and the cultivation of the party and the people and the country. And uh, I think my highest tribute goes to uh, the country and also the times. We may be overloaded in physically, but we cannot uh, be overloaded uh, mentally. And I'm always ready for the next mission and also make new contributions to the China's aerospace missions. Last but not least, I want to speak on behalf of the Shenzhou 16 crew. I want to say thank. I want to thank all of the people and my country.